Yeah, I wore glasses since I was 12 years old, so every morning I'd wake up, slide those babies on, uh, cleaning them all the time, knocking them off when I'm doing active things. Brian Finro felt that wearing glasses slowed him down. In the wintertime I do a lot of skiing and uh, that's a real problem because you've got, uh, you've got the glasses and you've also got the goggles and when it's wet outside you get the fog and it's, everything's fogging up and you're stopping to unfog things and then the rain gets inside and it fogs faster, it's terrible. A friend referred him to Dr. Tone Shen at the University of Washington Medical Center's Refractive Surgery Center. What I found very valuable about talking with Dr. Shen is she sat down with me and we, 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 she walked me through, here's you know, A, B, C, D, these are the things you need to worry about and here's your very small wrist, but they're there. Brian chose to go ahead with the procedure called LASIK, which is newer than the well-known LASIK and has less potential for complications. LASIK creates a permanent flap, whereas LASIK pulls back the cells and replaces them so they heal. The majority of our patients choose LASIK once they understand the pros and cons of the two procedures. Because refractive surgery offers so many vision options, the University of Washington Medical Center provides pre-surgery contact lens trials to all their patients. This helps patients make the best vision choice for corrective surgery. Patients try various levels of distance correction to see what works for them. Oh, it's fantastic. You know, actually, one of, my, uh, one of my favorite things now, as it turns out, this is a surprise to me, but my, one of my favorite activities now is buying sunglasses. <laughs> because you can't imagine for 20 years not being able to buy sunglasses, and now it's like the world is my oyster.